cabinet makers in the past made secret drawers and secret compartments in luxury furniture. We are going to show you some of those today. We are here in the most beautiful 18th century room of Amsterdam. Lately, many of us have been working from home and you may even have created your own home office. But have you ever thought about the desk that you're using? Cabinet makers in the past very often used secret drawers and secret compartments in the luxury furniture that they were making. The 18th century is the age of revolution and reason. And during this period, writing desks of various shapes and sizes became amongst the most complex and desirable pieces made by cabinet makers. David Röntgen was known for creating small, elegant writing tables like the one that you see here. The tapered legs, bronze mounts and marquetry decoration appealed to his fashionable clients. Marquetry is the application of thin layers of wood to form decorative patterns. Inside the writing table are compartments for uh, writing utensils and paper. This slides back and then there's a four very small drawers made of cherry wood, very nicely made with beautiful dovetails and the side opens up. David's father, Abraham Röntgen, was also a cabinet maker and he made this extraordinary desk for the Archbishop of Trier, Johann Philipp von Walderdorf. Walderdorf's portrait figures very prominently on the top of the desk. It is rather extraordinary to have the portrait of the commissioner or patron incorporated in this piece of furniture. The medallion is made of mother of pearl and beautifully engraved. And the mother of pearl also features in the windows of this gallery. So every hook and cranny is used to conceal drawers. And then there are small secret drawers even here. So we have the original keys, which is very unusual. And I use one key to open this concealed lock. Take out the support of the flap and then open the full front. We have the initials here together with the crown. So the actual writing compartment slides forward to make it easier to write on it. It has an inkwell and also a long drawer for pens. And this turns and then this opens up. Compartment for the ink. And you can see that it's really been used because there's ink stain here and there and also inside the drawer and on the writing uh, surface. So now we close everything again. Thank you very much for watching. And let us know if your desk has a hidden drawer. And if so, what do you keep in it? <laughs>